In a small village surrounded by lush green forests and rolling hills, there lived a poor couple named Kofi and Adama. They were kind-hearted and hard-working but struggled daily to make ends meet. Every night, they prayed to the heavens for a miracle that would change their lives for the better. One stormy night, as the rain poured down and the thunder roared, Adama felt a strange warmth in her belly. It was unlike anything she had ever felt before. She called Kofi, who rushed to her side. Within a few hours, their miracle arrived, a beautiful baby girl with hair unlike anything they had ever seen. Her hair shimmered with all the colors of the rainbow, glowing brightly even in the dimly lit room. They named her Fiona, which means fair and beautiful, for she was indeed a sight to behold. News of Fiona's miraculous birth spread like wildfire throughout the village. People came from far and wide just to see the baby with rainbow-colored hair. They marveled at her beauty and saw her as a blessing from the gods. As Fiona grew, her hair became even more vibrant and colorful. It was as if the rainbow had decided to live on her head. People would often stop and stare, mesmerized by the way her hair seemed to dance and sparkle in the sunlight. Some would even offer money, gifts, and food to touch her hair or take a small lock of it as a good luck charm. Kofi and Adama, though still poor, were overjoyed by the happiness and prosperity Fiona brought to their lives. They knew she was special and loved her dearly. Fiona's childhood was filled with love and laughter. She was a bright and cheerful girl, always bringing joy to everyone around her. Her parents adored her, and they lived happily together despite their humble circumstances. However, life in the village was not always easy. One day, tragedy struck the family when Adama fell gravely ill. The village healer tried every herb and remedy known, but Adama's condition only worsened. Fiona, still very young, couldn't understand what was happening. She would sit by her mother's bedside, holding her hand and brushing her hair with her tiny fingers, hoping that her touch would make her mother well again. But no miracle came this time. Adama passed away quietly one cold morning, leaving Kofi and Fiona heartbroken. The once lively house was filled with silence and sorrow. Fiona missed her mother terribly, but she was too young to fully grasp the pain of losing a loved one. Kofi tried his best to take care of Fiona, but the grief of losing Adama weighed heavily on him. After some time, he decided to marry again, hoping it would bring some joy back into their lives. He married a woman named Aisha, who had a daughter named Patience. At first, Fiona was excited to have a new mother and a sister. She thought they could be a happy family again. But Aisha was not like Adama. She was cold and distant, and she didn't care for Fiona the way a mother should. She only cared about patience and treated her like a princess. Fiona was often left out, feeling like she didn't belong. Every time Aisha took Fiona and patience to the market, people would flock around Fiona, marveling at her rainbow-colored hair. They would give her money and gifts, just like they always had. Aisha watched this with a growing envy in her heart. She couldn't understand why Fiona, a girl not even her own, should receive so much attention and kindness while her own daughter, Patience, was overlooked. As days passed, Aisha's jealousy turned into bitterness. She began treating Fiona harshly, giving her all the chores and tasks around the house while Patience did nothing. Fiona would scrub the floors, wash the clothes, and do all the dishes, her small hands becoming rough and sore from all the hard work. At school, Fiona had no friends. She would sit alone in an empty classroom, her heart heavy with sadness. She missed her mother and her father, who seemed distant and lost in his grief. Fiona wished for a miracle, just like the one that brought her to life, to make everything better again. Fiona's life took another tragic turn when her father, Kofi, fell ill. He had never been the same since Adama's death, and his health had slowly deteriorated. 
Fiona would sit by his bedside, just as she had with her mother, hoping and praying for him to get better. But the sickness was too much for Kofi's frail body. One quiet night, he took his last breath, leaving Fiona alone in the world with Aisha and patience. Fiona was heartbroken. She had lost both of her parents and felt more alone than ever. Aisha showed no sympathy. Instead, she made Fiona's life even harder, giving her more chores and treating her with even less kindness. One afternoon, out of pure spite and frustration, Aisha grabbed a pair of scissors and cut off all of Fiona's beautiful rainbow hair. Fiona was left bald, her colorful locks scattered on the floor. Patients laughed cruelly, pointing and mocking Fiona's new appearance. Fiona cried herself to sleep that night, feeling more alone and unloved than ever. When Fiona woke up the next morning, she couldn't believe her eyes. Her hair had grown back overnight, even more vibrant and colorful than before. She stared at her reflection in the mirror, unsure of how such a thing was possible. Aisha was shocked when she saw Fiona's hair. She grabbed the scissors again and cut it all off, thinking it was some trick. But the next morning, the hair grew back again, just as bright and beautiful as before. No matter how many times Aisha cut it, Fiona's hair would always grow back. Aisha realized that Fiona's hair was truly magical. She decided to take advantage of this miracle. Aisha began cutting Fiona's hair regularly, using the colorful strands to make wigs. She sold the wigs at the market for a high price, making a lot of money. People loved the wigs, believing they brought good luck and happiness. Aisha's envy turned into greed, and she saw Fiona not as a stepdaughter but as a source of wealth. Meanwhile, Fiona continued to suffer in silence. She did all the chores, went to school, and cried alone. She missed her parents terribly and wished for someone to care for her and love her as they did. One day, as Fiona sat crying by the bushes outside her school, a boy named Daniel approached her. Daniel was a kind-hearted student who had noticed Fiona's sadness. He sat down beside her and asked, Why are you crying? Fiona, too afraid to speak, just shook her head. Daniel didn't press her for answers. Instead, he sat with her quietly, offering his company. From that day on, whenever Fiona cried, Daniel would find her and sit with her, sharing her pain in silence. Over time, Fiona began to trust Daniel. She still didn't tell him about her troubles at home, but she found comfort in his presence. Daniel became her only friend, the only person who seemed to care about her feelings. He would share his lunch with her, help her with her schoolwork, and make her laugh with his funny stories. For the first time in a long while, Fiona felt a glimmer of happiness. She began to look forward to school, knowing that Daniel would be there for her. But she still didn't know how to tell him about her magical hair and the cruelty of her stepmother. Aisha, seeing how much money she was making from Fiona's hair, decided she needed to make even more. She started cutting Fiona's hair more frequently, leaving her with almost no hair at all. Fiona's scalp hurt from all the cutting, and she felt more miserable than ever. Aisha didn't care about Fiona's pain, she only cared about the money. One day, Daniel saw Fiona with her head covered, hiding the fact that her hair had been cut again. He asked her why she always wore a scarf now, but Fiona didn't answer. She was too ashamed to tell him the truth. Daniel, sensing that something was wrong, decided to follow Fiona home after school one day. From a distance, he watched as Aisha cut Fiona's hair and put it in a bag to sell. Daniel was shocked and horrified. He realized how badly Fiona was being treated and decided he had to do something to help her. Daniel ran home and told his parents everything he had seen. His parents were kind and generous people, and they were outraged by Aisha's cruelty. They decided to take Fiona into their home and care for her. 
Daniel's father went to the village chief to report Aisha's behavior, and the chief was equally appalled. The chief summoned Aisha to his hut and demanded to know why she was mistreating Fiona. At first, Aisha tried to deny everything, but when the chief mentioned the wigs, she couldn't lie any longer. She confessed to cutting Fiona's hair and using it to make money. The village chief was stern and resolute. He ordered Aisha to stop exploiting Fiona immediately and to return the money she had made from selling the wigs. He also declared that Fiona should be taken away from Aisha's home and placed under the care of Daniel's family, who were known for their kindness and fairness. Daniel's parents welcomed Fiona with open arms. They gave her a warm, comfortable room and treated her with love and respect. Fiona was overwhelmed with gratitude and relief. For the first time in a long while, she felt safe and cared for. Daniel was thrilled to have Fiona as part of his family and promised to help her heal from her painful experiences. Aisha was furious when she found out about the chief's decision. She had lost her source of income and felt humiliated in front of the entire village. She plotted to get back at Fiona and Daniel. Aisha spread rumors that Fiona was a troublemaker and that Daniel's family was hiding her for mysterious reasons. She hoped to turn the village against them. But Fiona's new family had earned the respect and trust of the community. Many villagers had seen Aisha's cruel treatment of Fiona and were not swayed by her lies. They came to support Fiona and Daniel, showing their solidarity and proving that the village stood united against injustice. As Fiona settled into her new life, she began to open up about her past to Daniel and his family. She told them about her magical hair and the suffering she had endured. Daniel's parents were shocked but admired Fiona's bravery in sharing her story. They promised to support her and help her regain her confidence and happiness. One evening, as Fiona was talking with Daniel, she revealed a hidden part of her hair's magic. She explained that the hair not only grew back but also had the power to bring joy and good fortune. She showed them how the hair would change color depending on her mood and the atmosphere around her. To celebrate Fiona's new beginning and to honor her miraculous hair, Daniel's family organized a village celebration. They invited everyone to join in the festivities, including Aisha, despite her earlier behavior. The celebration featured traditional dances, music, and food, and everyone came together to show their support for Fiona. Fiona's hair shone brightly under the moonlight, radiating colors that mesmerized everyone. The village danced and sang, celebrating not just Fiona's beauty, but also the power of kindness and unity. The event was a turning point for Fiona, marking a new chapter in her life filled with hope and happiness. Witnessing the joy and acceptance Fiona received, Aisha began to reflect on her actions. She realized how wrong she had been to exploit and mistreat Fiona. Seeing the genuine love and support Fiona received from Daniel's family and the village made her feel a deep sense of regret. One day, Aisha approached Fiona and Daniel's family with a humble request. She asked for forgiveness and expressed her remorse for the way she had treated Fiona. Fiona, though hesitant, accepted Aisha's apology understanding the importance of forgiveness and healing. Aisha's apology marked the beginning of a new chapter for her as well. She started working to make amends by helping out in the community and supporting local causes. Fiona and Aisha, though still not close, learned to coexist peacefully. Fiona's magical hair continued to bring joy to those around her, and Aisha's newfound kindness contributed positively to the village. The village thrived in harmony, with Fiona's story becoming a legend of hope and transformation. Children grew up hearing about Fiona's miraculous hair and the lessons learned from her journey. Years passed and Fiona grew into a wise and compassionate young woman. Her hair remained a symbol of hope and resilience. She used her gift to help others, spreading joy and support wherever she went. 
Fiona's story became a cherished folktale, reminding everyone of the power of kindness, forgiveness, and the miracles that can happen when one remains true to oneself. Daniel and Fiona remained close friends, their bond unbroken by the trials they had faced. Together, they continued to make a positive impact on their village, ensuring that the legacy of Fiona's miraculous hair lived on through acts of love and compassion.